Hey, how's it going, Valentine? Thanks for taking the time out of day to watch this video. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitor, and I'm going to show you exactly how to dominate uh, local Google searches when someone's looking for a roofing contractor in Albuquerque. Um, so, as you can see, we're on my business page, my company, Zamp Local. We are an internet marketing agency. All right. Uh, so, I just want to jump right into the video. So what I'm going to be going over essentially is search engine optimization. Why is it important? Well, getting your site, uh, you know, ranked and optimized for Google searches is very important. We want you to be at the top of these searches in Albuquerque. So whenever someone's looking, they'll they'll see you versus your top competitor. All right. Um, so I just want to talk to you about kind of where you're at right now, um, and then I'll get into the process of SEO. I'm going to give you the actual process so you can see exactly what we do to rank your website. All right, so to find your company um, in Albuquerque, someone's essentially going to search, um, you know, roofing contractor or roofing. So I want to show you this window. So this is Google Chrome, right? This is Google Chrome I'm using. So if you're using Google Chrome um, and you want to search yourself, Make sure that you go at the top right of Google Chrome, there's these three lines. Make sure you go to New Incognito Window. What this is going to do, it's going to open up a, um, a window that kind of erases all your catch. You know, so um, you might have searched your business many times on Google, and you probably, if you search roofing contractor in Albuquerque, it'll pop up, you know, within the top three. It's because you search it so much, Google wants to, sh wants to give you um, your most popular, uh, most visited searches. All right, so I in this uh, incognito window, it's got this little guy up here. I've already searched. So Albuquerque roofing contractors, right? So um, for your business, I could not find it at all on on the first page. And not only did I not find it on the first page, I looked through the first ten pages and I couldn't find you at all um, for this keyword search. All right, same thing for Albuquerque roofing. Okay, I couldn't find you in local. Or find you in the organic ranking so let me show you why it's important you want to be at the top of these searches so um, this is what's reported back from Google last year so if you're ranked number one you control 35% of all the clicks organically so if you rank number one here that's 35% for percent and if you rank number one here that's an additional um, uh, 20 to 30 percent of the clicks and then if there's ads running that's going to be um, another 20% of the clicks as well. So as you can see, as you go down in a position, you lose a lot of business. Okay, And as you can see, if you're not on page 1, you might as well be on page 20 because 11 starts page 2, and it's barely 1%, and it's just pretty much no clicks to the website after that point. So this is where you want to be. All right, because people are searching, you know, keywords, ba basic keyword search and searches like, you know, roofing contractor in Albuquerque or roofing in Albuquerque or roofing companies all right so let me show you these keywords every single month someone's looking for your services uh, near, uh, about 3,000 times per month all right so that's a lot that's a lot of potential clients right uh, roofing contractors um, so many searches specifically get a certain number um, so like roofing contractors is 30 roofing is 90 um, roof 50 roofing companies 20 Metal roofing 140, roofing contractor at least 10. So as you can see, there's a lot of keywords to rank your business for. Obviously, the most um, you know, roof also roofing services, roofing cost, um, roofing installation, roofing repair. Um, you want to be at the top of all these. You know, not just roofing. The two big hitters, you know, that's going to get you, you know, between 100 and 150 new clients per month at at the minimum, is uh, Albuquerque Roofing. Roofing and roofing contractors, you know, roofing company is another good one. Um, so I couldn't find you on any of these searches, but as you can see, we're able to target all the keywords to rank your business in, and then you could reach a potential of up to 3,000 per month on average. All right, so let me show you how much business your website's bringing you right now. So right now, this is you, villasroofing.com. You're getting two visitors per month, okay? So these are most likely people that that know about the business already maybe it's referrals people typed in villas roofing maybe you did a google search or something of that nature but this is straight from seo clicks from from google all right so only two per month let me show you your top competitor so this is Albu albuquerque uh roofers in new mexico all right so that's uh 
That is these guys. Oh, where'd he go? Right here, this guy, Sundance Roofing. So he's number one here, and he's number one here. All right. So this guy's getting 63 per month. All right, and he's had a nice couple spikes over 100, um, you know, around the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and 70s. So he's getting a ton of business. So literally 60x uh, the business that you're getting right now from your website. So that's the potential to get ranked um, right now. But he's only hitting, um, you know, made one, two major keywords. Um, we want to target a lot of keywords and bring you a lot more business. So that's the potential we're working with. We can definitely get this market and uh, to and take these number of leads uh, from this guy so um, so let me show you I want to talk to you about the process like how do we do it right um, so Google has an algorithm and it has 200 determining factors I'm only going to talk to you about four of the very most important ones once we nail these um, everything else kind of falls into place so the first thing I want to talk to you about is your website um, this this one's very important um, you do meet this criteria. I just want to talk about it. Everyone's going to look about 80% of people are going to look for a service from their iPhone or Android. So you have to be mobile friendly. Um, so for your site, you are mobile friendly. All right. So whoever designed your website did a, did a very good job. Okay. Uh, next thing I'm going to talk to you about is authoritative content and keyword research. So I already kind of talked to you about the keyword research, but how does that, how do we get that into the site? So um, what we want to do and what Google is looking for is are you educating these your clients? You know, so when they hit your web page, um, are you mentioning that your all of your roofing services in Albuquerque? Um, do you have big large chunks of information with sentences um, after sentences, you know, paragraphs of information? So you have a couple um, sentences here talking about your business, a few about your services here. All right. So what we want to build out is large chunks of information. We want to actually have at least 1,000 to 2,000 words of authoritative content with uh, in-depth keyword research. So many keywords and mention Albuquerque many times. All right. So it's, this, is, this is very, very important. Let me look, show you what authoritative content looks like. So I went to Google, typed in elephant. Wikipedia is number one, right? They're notorious for popping up number one just because of their authoritative content. So this page has like 50,000 words on the evolution of elephants, where they what they eat, where they sleep, everything. Okay, so this is very important to understand. Like this is the type uh, you want to have for your business. Like this is probably the amount of information you're going to want right here, about like this much. You know, maybe, maybe a little bit more. You know, one one thousand to two thousand words, something like that, right? Um, Fifty thousand. Of course, this page, this whole page is excessive, but you know, Wiki, this way Wikipedia does it. But that's kind of what you want to see on a website Google can read text okay um, some other back back of the uh, you know stuff back of the line stuff that we do all of your media has to be optimized so if you have a picture on the website like these pictures have to be named you know best roofing company in Albuquerque or you know roofing contractors in Albuquerque you want to do keyword research on all your media as well that's very important too so that's some of the back end stuff that we also take care of for you um, and then uh, your page titles and descriptions so that's like all the on-page optimization optimization stuff all right so the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is off-page optimization all right so this will so once we are mentioning the keywords and everything we want to rank for on the website we have to um, do the off-page optimization okay so that's what I'm going to talk to you about now all right so for uh, I'm going to talk to you about local citations so these are very very important so whoever I can tell that whoever um, might have done your site or if you filled out citations it looks like somebody you were working with knows about citations so um, citation is very important. This is how we get our business name out there on the internet, and this is how we get list, listed in local directories like Google, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, Yellow Pages, and White Pages. That's just some examples. When you do them, you have to have the business name, address, and phone number identical. If not, Google's going to slap you down. So this is what's going on. You have a, looks like about a 93% error rate. So what's going on? Uh, the biggest problem that I see, I don't see a Google Map listing or a Google My Business page completed. Um, this is the very most important thing. If you're going to rank in Google Maps here, 
you have to have you have to be Google verified. They have to send you a postcard to the address, and you have to verify it. So I just did my due diligence. I went into Google Maps. Um, I typed in your business name, and it gave me no options for um, uh, for your company in uh, Albuquerque. Okay, I don't see any from Albuquerque. I did do this one search. Um, I know that's that's not you. So I um, also went into Google and just typed in Villa Roofing Albuquerque Google Maps. Um, it popped, obviously your website popped up, but then a Google Map listing should pop up over here. That didn't pop up. So everything's telling me that you're not Google verified, especially um, this right here, this missing listing for Google. So this is the very first thing we have to do is get you Google verified so you show up locally as a local bit roofing company in Albuquerque. Um, and then all these other listings, it looks like you have discrepancies between each other with the address, um, business name on Foursquare, phone number, um, your missing listings here, missing listings. This is the top 50 in the country. You definitely want to be in all these with accurate information. Plus, there's thousands of them, but we'll get you listed in hundreds over time. But definitely, we're going to get you Google verified and get all these discrepancies fixed with your citations. All right, so that's... Um, local citations so next thing this is probably like the most important this is the bread and butter meat and potatoes whatever you want to call it of uh, search engine optimization all right influence links all right or backlinks um, these are directly responsible for getting you ranked number one in the organics okay so whoever has the most powerful and the most number of influence links gets the number one spot pretty much so this is you right here all right Villas Roofing. So, you know, SEO is really all about who's talking about you online and what everybody else is saying about you online. Um, Google is a popularity contest. It is like running for president. The more votes you have, the more chance you're going to win. These are your votes, okay? So this is saying right now you have two referring domains. That's two, pretty much two websites mentioning you online. Um, and the tr what Google wants to know is how many of the, these do you have and what quality? Well, how, how popular are these sites or people talking about you online? Trust flow is the quality. So right now you're at a zero. So let me show you this link, not this one. Um, so right now at a zero, obviously you're going to be at you know low quality. There's no, no quality to that site, to those two sites that are talking about you. So let me show you your top competitor. And this is very interesting what I'm going to show you. So these guys, look, they have nine referring domains, okay? Um, and look at their trust flow of zero. So this is, to me, this is very low-hanging fruit for Albuquerque. Um, it's going to be relatively easy to rank you in Albuquerque, knowing these statistics, because all their sites are also low quality. So this is what's great about our company. We have many, we have tons, uh, unlimited amounts of uh, referring domains to, to mention your website on. Um, and it's going to give you, and they're all very high quality, um, and they give you the, the power that you need to rank online. So I want to show you, um, you know, do a little case study action in the video so you can kind of see some of the stuff that we've been doing with other clients. So um, I'm going to show you a couple of our clients. So this is San Diego Auto Connection. It's a huge, you know, used auto dealer. Auto dealer is probably one of the toughest uh, niches to rank in. Um, when we took them on, they were like sitting on page two and three. Um, now they're number one in San Diego for uh, San Diego auto dealers. Huge uh, keyword research, keyword search, and they're number three in the map pack. All right, so their business is really thriving. Let me show you how powerful this site is. So I'm just going to copy the domain and punch it straight into this here so you can see exactly how powerful the site is. So as you can see, we have um, they have 73 links pointed to them, and their trust flow is 22. When we first took them on, it was uh, I believe it was below 10. So they were they had a very weak site. So all their trust flow is 22. Um, so as you can see, anything above 20 is very high quality. Okay, very high quality. This one's higher than even 20, um, and they're ranked number one. All right, another one of our clients, um, Escondido Party Bus. This is actually a lead generation website. So we have the power to build out uh, custom sites and launch them in any city and just pull the leads back to one business owner in any city. Um, so these guys actually have a big, uh, you know, limousine party bus business in downtown San Diego. 
and we built this site in another city north called Escondido and ranked it number one right here for Escondido Party Bus, a big search there. Um, they're number one maps and number one here. So let me show you the power of this site as well. Um, let's see, I'm just gonna punch it straight into my tool here. As you can see, same thing, high quality, 19 links, 21 um, off the charts. I'll even show you our agency website, Amp Local. Um, this site is even more powerful. Uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna punch it straight in. So 31, that's really high. That's uh, All of our links are actually off the charts. So um, any sites we built off the ground are gonna be above 20. Um, of course, we can, we can get the trust flow over 20. So only 12 links, 31 trust flow. So very high quality. This is the type of power and results you can expect uh, from our company. Um, we really look forward to partnering with you. That pretty much concludes my analysis. So um, I really appreciate the time you took to watch the video. Please reach out. You have my business name, my uh, phone number, and email. Um, we would love to work with you and, and grow your company and bring more leads. You know. Um, Again, I'm just thinking about the 63 potential that we can bring you. I mean, that's huge compared to uh, where you are now. So, uh, again, I appreciate the time you took. That concludes the video. And um, please reach back out, and we'll take the next step to bring you more leads online. Thanks, and have a great day.